What's going on, everybody? <laughs> it's your girl, Dana Patrice, a.k.a. The Black Fairy. Welcome to all my subbies and guests. I love you all. Thank you for the love and support. This reading is a no communication love reading. I hope that I can provide some clarity, love, and light to your journeys. It is a timeless reading, so get in where you fit in. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and click that bell if it resonates. And it won't resonate with all, and that's fine, too. Let's find out. What's going on, you guys? it's your girl and i'm here with a reading for those of you who are in no communication with your divine partners we're going to check the energy we're going to see what's going on let's see what spirit has to say all right spirit of the universe i call you forward in love light righteousness and truth what message do you have for those of us sorry i didn't ask anything yet. for those of us who are in no communication spirit we seek your love, your guidance, and your divine energy. No communication. What's going on with our divine partners? Thank you, Spirit. Well, they're feeling very, very blocked in creativity-wise. Maybe even being creative on how they want to move forward. They're healing. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else about the energy for those that we're waiting for, for communication from? spirit magic so they're trying, i feel like they're trying to they're feeling like creative blocks they're trying to get back into their magic they are doing some healing that's the energy from our partners who we are needing no communication from i'm gonna get to the romance angels spirit what's the message for those of us that are in no communication So we have the separation. Yeah, we are in separation. They're not ready to give this relationship a chance. Give your relationship a chance is in reverse. And we have separation. So we know that you're separated, right? This is a no communication reading. Um, but they're not ready to give this relationship a chance. They're probably because they're still healing. Probably, again, they don't know. I feel like they don't know how to come forward even if they want to. As I said before, that's why it's the creativity is in reverse. Not that it's all that creative to just come back and maybe apologize, right? But okay, let's let's continue. Spirit, what else about this no communication does the uh, um does my subscribers need to know? <laughs> so getting to know each other. This person is confused as fuck. They're separated. They're they're not ready to give it a chance, but they want to start over again, even though they're not ready. Spirit, anything else? <laughs> Maybe one more card, Spirit. Thank you. Children involved. So maybe they just want to start over and they don't know how to start over. Maybe I feel like maybe they don't think you'll give this relationship a chance. They're interested in getting to know each other. Maybe children is the reason what separated them and that's affecting their separation right now. Um, let's get into it. Let's get some clarity for these cards. Spirit, clarify separation, please. Clarify separation with those we are in no communication with. I know it seems like an odd question. Nine of Cups. So they're separated, but they're truly, truly thinking about you. They're thinking about the good times. They're reminiscing um, in that Nine of Cups kind of energy during this separation. Spirit, separation, clear the cards, please. Thank you, Spirit. King of Cups. So they want to come forward. They definitely want to come forward. This energy during the separation. They're thinking about you. They're they're obsessed with you. I feel like they're watching you. Um, so you guys are separate, but not really, right? They're reminiscing. Many of you could have just, like, maybe you chill with, with your partner like this, right? Your divine partner. You guys used to chill like this, laying up in the bed, you know, caressing each other's faces, just talking through the night. And he's thinking about this during this separation spirit. This is this is what's on their minds, right? They're kind of obsessing over you and obsessing about um, what's going on. But they don't think you'll give this relationship a chance. What else for separation spirit? Thank you. 
Yep, they're in their heads with the Nine of Wands. They're in their heads. They don't think that you'll take them back, although they do want to come forward. Clarify, give your relationship a chance in reverse spirit. So we have the Ten of Coins in reverse again, not accepting their offer. You not realizing what they want to give to you, not accepting what they want to give to you, right? Obstacles. They have a lot of obstacles. And even I feel like a lot of work to do if they do come back around from the separation. You know, they know that they hurt you here with the Five of Swords, right? They're there with the swords. Look at her crying there, right? And if you look at the face, come on. That's hurtful hurtful feelings right they feel like this they're still going they feel like this is their karma losing you with the wheel of fortune in reverse right almost like you'd be justified to not take them back so perhaps they did something really harsh to you um and they think that not getting back with you is their punishment clarify getting to know each other's spirit although i feel like they this, this is what they want they want to get to know each other they want to redo Getting to know each other's spirit. Thank you. Yep. They're really in their mind about this. Again, like I said, look at the child, right? And she's looking to the woman. She's surrounded by all these issues. And he's crying almost like he's sorry. Like, he doesn't want this relationship anymore. Now that he's met you, right? And it's hanging over him. And he's seeing you as that, that spirit, that one that he wants. He's apologetic. He's sorry. He felt like maybe he maybe chose the wrong one. He wishes he could start over. Maybe that he met you earlier. What else for getting to know each other's spirit? Thank you. So we have the four of cups, right? He, he, he. <laughs> This person knows that they fucked up, right? And they're really, that's what they're concentrating on right now. This is their energy. They can't get over what they did, how they did you. They don't think, even though there's hope, for some of you guys, there's hope. For some of you guys, you would probably take this person back if they came back with an explanation, an apology, and a true effort to move forward. But they're too much in their heads. They just want to, they, they don't, they're thinking about what they lost. Getting to know each other is clarify spirit. Yeah, they're very passionate about you too. They do want to move forward with that Knight of Wands energy charging towards you, fighting for what they want. Again, hoping in desperation for that chance. Let's clarify children. Ten of Swords. They may have, again... With, uh, with what we saw before with the child and the mother here with the Seven of Swords looking up to you. Um, you're on their mind. They're sorry. They're, they, they chose wrong. I feel like this person even spitefully did things that they had to get over in regards to their children. And that's why it's affecting them from coming forward too. They don't know how to tell you this. Like they chose the wrong one. <laughs> She backstabbed them and he's coming out of it, but he, right now he's trying to, they're trying to like really concentrate on getting their children together. Um, but thank you, spirits. <laughs> yeah, holding on to a lot of old baggage and things that they did to you, right? And I feel like even affecting their children, they may have hidden their children from you. Right, didn't tell you about the children or didn't tell you about the situation with their children's mother, right? Leaving them in a nine of coins in reverse situation, feeling like they there's nothing fruitful left here. Spirit What's their what's their plan? What is their plan? How do they plan to move forward with this? How do they plan to move forward? How does this normal communication plan to move forward, spirit? 
right? Because we see that they're healing, right? Which was what, which what, blah, 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 which is what represented is here by the Ten of Swords in reverse. They're getting over something. They're healing. They're returning to their magic, but they're blocked in creativity. They don't know how to move forward. They don't know how to get to the other side with you. They keep going back and forth in their mind because they know what they did was fucked up. They know they messed up with you. They don't know how to return and come back from this. They don't know how to explain everything they hid from you that was going on from the children. You know what I mean? So they feel like they don't have very much to offer. Nine of cup coins in reverse. Right? But there's this passionate energy of wanting to move towards you. Spirit, What? how do they plan to move forward from this energy spirit? Thank you. They want to come clean from the deception. They realize that this is a past life relationship. And they want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with you about this. So they do want to come forward and talk about this with you. Um, let's see. Clarify deception and reverse spirit. Because I feel like they just really want to be honest with you about what's been going on. Right? They want to come forward and offer you the truth. They want to come forward and offer you that 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 pentacle, which is the truth. You know, coming clean and making an offer to start over. Clarify deception in reverse spirit. Thank you. Yeah, they, they aren't feeling like the emperor. They're really going to come to you right, quite humbly. <laughs> They're going to set aside their pride. When they come to you in this fashion to offer you this pentacle, they're not going to try to be all hardcore. They're going to, they're coming with a soft spirit. Clarify past life relationship spirit. What does this no connection feel about this past life energy? Thank you. They had a tower moment and it made them realize who you were to them, what they wanted with you here with the tower card. It blew them off their feet when they realized what happened and what had done. Past life. Thank you. Yeah, seven of swords. They were de deceived. Oh, okay. I thought it was that one. They were deceived, right? But the seven of swords, and they were really in their heads about it. Um, a lot. They feel like they were deceived again by the situation. Even with the children, I'm even feeling like maybe one of the children may not be one of theirs is what i'm saying if they have more than one child or the child that they had maybe thought it's a whole yeah and it's preventing it was preventing them from moving forward this betrayal but they did realize it struck them it struck them that you were this past life energy they finally realized that maybe you had said it to them before and they were just scoffed at it but they realizing that now they're realizing what they thought was was for them really wasn't and it was actually betrayal. It was trickery. They were tricked, right? And it, it's prevented them from moving forward. And they didn't know how to come talk to you. Clarify heart to heart conversation, spirit. Queen of Cups in reverse. They don't think that you're going to take them back. They're hoping they want to come forward and have this conversation. Clarify heart to heart conversation, spirit. Yeah, two of cups in reverse. They're, they don't think you're going to take them back. And that's what's also holding them back. They really don't. They want to come forward too humbly. Again, they're still healing from all this drama that you're seeing here as well. Um, And again, tapping in. They're trying to manifest you with by tapping in their magic. But again, what's messing with them is that... I mean, they don't believe that they're, they're, there's even the possibility, which is going to, you know, as far as mass manifestation goes... That ain't going to work, boo. You got to believe. You got to come forward. But I do believe they want to come forward. Let's see what spirit um, advice is in regards to this situation. Spirit, what's your advice in regards to this no communication situation for my subbies and guests? Two. Number two may be significant to you. I'm gonna get.
get the guidebook because I just got this deck and I'm still learning a lot about numbers and sequences. For me, I see two a lot. Two is illuminate. You are a shining star. In truth, you were born to illuminate the world with your light. The time has come to get out of your own way and allow yourself to be all of who you're meant to be. Remember, it is only the thoughts of your mind that hold you back and it takes a lot more energy to hold yourself closed than it does to let yourself flow open. This card is asking that you allow yourself to take up space to open yourself up and illuminate this world. So when it comes to this relationship, I feel like the concentration is on you. You know, you, you this is the concentration on you. This is about your spiritual path, what you want. Clarify the number two. Thank you, spirit. The sun in reverse. This is about your happiness. This is about, again, two, two of, um, sorry, two of wands. I mean, two of wands. Again, not knowing what to do with this journey. I feel like you guys are very unsure with this energy. It's true that he loves th that this person loves you. It's true that they kept a lot from you. And it's true that they want to come back and offer you something new. And it's true that they're scared to approach you because they you they left you really unhappy. And I feel like this leaves, even in this space, hearing this right now, you are very, very indecisive about how you want to move forward. Now, spirit just wants you to illuminate your own life. I feel like once you set yourself free and start focusing on yourself, everything will unfold naturally and you'll be able to tap into your intuition and see what's coming forward. Spirit, clarify the sun card. In, spirit, clarify the sun card in reverse. your energy is very unsure and that's why they want you to know that you are the light you are the master manifester you can have whatever it is that you like right you, you you've gone and you transformed you know and with the death card and some of you are afraid to move forward you're afraid what what's behind that curtain as what's behind that that transformation so many of you may be holding yourself back a little bit in fear of what's behind the curtain you know, how are you going to move forward? I feel like even this situation too, you're like, well, I'm. some of you are, are, are in fear because this person hurts you and you're scared. Like, I, can I trust this person as they come back to me? Are they being for real? How can I trust them this time? They say that they left the first time and it was a mistake. What if they feel like coming back is a mistake and they leave me again and I'm heartbroken, right? So, and I feel like, that being said, understanding that you are the magician, right? Understanding that you are the magician, that you have the power over your life that you want. You have to make a decision, right? Nothing's going to be perfect, you know, but if you want this, go for it. If you don't want it, leave it alone, right? But this person is going to try to come back. They are going to try to come back and give you an offer. And I just say hear them out because it does seem like there's sincere feelings here, sincere regret for how they did you, wanting to come forward and be honest with you. So I say hear it out and then follow your intuition. You are the light, like just like this card explains. You are the light. You illuminate the world. You'll know you're a very intuitive being, I feel like, if you're listening to this and this resonates with you. You're a very intuitive being. So just move forward in that strength that you have and you can trust yourself and you can trust your instincts. That being said, I love y'all. Um, I'm going to end this reading right here. There will be no extension. Um, and you can leave an energetic tip by giving this video a like, comment, share, or subscribe. Donations are not required, but it's available through the PayPal link below. I want you to know that I love you. I believe in you. You've absolutely got this. And we'll talk soon.